This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at if robots can write their own code. So this is a work from Google research. Okay. So a common approach used to control robots is to program them with code to detect objects, sequencing commands to move actuators and feedback loops to specify how the robot should perform a task. So these programs are expressive, but reprogramming policies for each new task, it is time consuming and it requires domain expertise. Okay. So they are asking the question, what if when given instructions from people, robots could autonomously write their own code to interact with the world. Okay. So what they are saying is that current uh, large language models like Palm. Okay. They are capable of complex reasoning and have been trained on million lines of code. So given natural language instructions, current language models are highly proficient at writing not only generic code, but they can also write code which can control robot actions as well. Okay. So that is the whole idea. So if you give instructions in natural language, can it be converted into code which can be use it to control robot actions. So what they are saying is that they are uh, provi when provided with several example instructions formatted as comments paired with corresponding code language models can take in new instructions and autonomously generate new code which can recompose API calls, synthesize new functions, okay, express feedback loops to assemble new behaviors at runtime. Okay, so this suggests an alternative approach for using mach uh, machine learning for robots that pursues generalization through modul modularity and leverages the abundance of open source code and data available on the internet. So this is what they have developed as code as policies, which is a robot centric formulation of language model generated programs executed on physical systems. So they've extended previous works like Palm, say, can Okay, by enabling language models to complete even more complex robotic tasks with the full expression of general purpose Python code. Okay, so they are proposing language models to directly write robot code through few shop prompting. Okay, so for example, things like arrange the blocks in a square around the middle. So here you can see that the robot is arranging the blocks around this square as in the square form in the middle. Okay. So what they are saying is that this is few short prompting in the sense when the language model is prompted with this particular arrange the blocks in a square around the middle text, it is actually generating this program, which can be deployed on this robot to do this action. Okay. Maybe it is trained on what are all the, uh, you know, sub steps, which are required for this particular action. Okay. So that is what the language model is being trained on. And then the language model is able to generate code to perform this action. So here you have the another make the square bigger, right? So then it tries to move this, uh, you know, blocks to, you know, slightly a bigger square from the center. Then there are various actions over here, put the darkest object in the plate that has the apple. So it is able to identify which is the darkest object. Okay. So here, if you would see there are different actions, which needs to be performed, right? So there would be some APIs for vision, some APIs to identify the darkest object, right? And then it combines that into a code. Okay. To do these actions, right? This is some put the apple and Coke in their corresponding bins. Okay. So, uh, this particular natural language statement is converted into a set of actions over here. Okay. So that is the idea over here. So you have a language model to which an input is given, like stack the blocks on the empty bowl. Okay. This language model is capable of generating this policy code. In this policy codes, you could have perception APIs, control APIs, for example, detect objects, right? Detect bowls. So these are perception APIs, right? Then you also have controls like, you know, stack objects. How do you stack them? Okay. So this is the code which has been generated. And what they are saying is that this code as policies uses code writing language models to map natural, natural language instructions to robot code to complete tasks. Generated 
code can call existing perception APIs, third party libraries or write new functions at runtime to perform these actions. Okay. So that is their idea over here. Right. So they also have a website for this. Uh, okay. Which is code as policies.github.io. So here uh, there is a demo which they have. Okay. But for that demo, you need to be uh, you need to enroll and uh, you have to gain codex access by joining the waitlist. Something needs to be done. So I have not tried it out, but maybe in the future I will try it out. Okay. So then they have the paper, the blog, which I am just referring to, which I was reading from, right? Here there are a lot of examples of, uh, you know, uh, different examples and videos of uh, these, uh, you know, certain actions. For example, this is about tabletop manipulation blocks. Okay, so this uh, put the blocks in a horizontal line near the top. So if you select that, you know, in this video, they have just, uh, they show how it is done. Put the blocks in a horizontal line near the top. So it kind of computes what needs to be done for this. And then if you look a little bit forward over here, you know that robot picks up block by block and then puts it on this particular horizontal line. And here is the code which has been generated by the language model program okay for that particular action okay so that is what is uh, you know and for example if you go by some other this thing here they show the code for that right so the raw text code so here there is this rotate function eight points from polygon okay because this action is to actually rotate the square by 45 degrees okay so this is the code which has been generated right so then you have uh, a tabletop manipulation again another video of blocks and bowls which you can watch over here so they have some examples over here for uh, the different actions which have been performed whiteboard drawing okay they also have a small video where they explain uh, you know what is this paper about and what is this code as policies you can also check out that video to get an understanding of this particular code as policies but the idea is this right you can have a large language model to which instructions are given and from the instructions you know it can generate policy code okay so what they are saying over here is when provided as input several language commands followed by the corresponding policy code via few short prompting large language models can take in new commands and autonomously recompose api calls to generate new policy code respectively by chaining classic logic structures and referencing third party libraries and umpy shapely to perform arithmetic large language models used in this way can write robotic policies that exhibit spatial geometric reasoning generalize to new instructions and prescribe and prescribe precise values to ambiguous descriptions depending upon context okay this is a lot of claims in these lines right you have something called behavioral common sense precise values autonomous this thing so it again depends on how much uh, you know control is there over the policy code which is generated by the large language model the large language model is in your generating text right so what kind of control they have over this policy code to perform all set of actions there are good examples over here but what if I change the sum of these terms? Will it work the way it is intended to work? So there are a lot of questions over there. And for that, you need to actually try out this code and see whether it works in a very generic manner. Whatever uh, shown over here are good examples, but then uh, these could be cherry picked examples as well, right? So again, whether this works in the way it is intended is something which can be only answered by testing out this model, right? But there are a lot of claims over here and um, you know, some uh, say it says they improve the state of art on some benchmark code as well. Okay. And uh, there is this demo, which probably we can try at a later point of time uh, to see if it works the way it is claimed to be. But the idea is quite interesting that if you have a large language model, which has been trained on a lot of, you know, uh, code for um, certain actions, it can then um, uh, come up with a new uh, code for something which is it has not seen before some instruction which it has not seen before in a very coherent way and then this code can be used to manipulate a robot so this is quite uh, interesting uh, work i would say 
So this is a short video on code as policies from Google researchers. So I'll be putting the link of this blog as well as this page. You can go to this page and read more about code as policies. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.